About 80% of all the things in your house have been at sea. Ships are becoming much bigger and more numerous. Maritime traffic is growing exponentially, also compared to other forms of transport. Fortunately, shipping is quite an energy-efficient mode of transport. Every year, about 800 of the 20,000 large ships in the world are involved in an accident. The absolute risk of accidents at sea is growing together with the industry. In many of these accidents, there are potential pollutants involved. Let's look at this particular ship. It's just crashed into a rogue iceberg. Luckily, the crew is not in danger, but the ocean certainly is. This ship contains lots of potential pollutants. If these flow into the ocean, it'll be a disaster. The captain calls the ship owner, and very soon, a whole chain of stakeholders becomes involved. What has now clearly become a disaster is recorded, transcribed and broadcast, including company names and logos. Good evening and hello. An oil tanker has crashed and pollutants are entering the ocean as we speak. Experts are afraid that fragile ecosystems will be seriously damaged. Yes, James. Once an accident happens at sea, the clock starts ticking, while both money and pollutants go on, flowing the wrong way. Once oil starts leaking from a ship, in most cases it becomes impossible to control. The shipping industry has, in recent years, invested a lot in overall safety and accident prevention. So, we can be proud of what has been achieved, but we can also agree that zero risk is unattainable. As of late, we have become much more aware of the dramatic ecological consequences of an accident at sea. Therefore, the next logical step in our ongoing development and thinking is that we prepare our ships for the one thing we'd rather not think about at all. First, we must make sure that pollutants don't enter the ocean. Secondly, the environmental threat must be removed from the ship. This can all be done with the help of onboard equipment. Earlier today, an oil tanker crashed into a large rock and sunk shortly after. However, thanks to leak preventers and fast oil recovery systems on board this particular ship, only a few gallons of oil escaped. The crew is OK. Large festivities in Botswana. Maritime Passive Safety is a collaborative effort of a group of companies that create maritime safety solutions. By standardizing emergency procedures, ship owners can help to make salvage work faster and more efficient, so environmental and financial damage is minimized. But don't take our word for it. It's what experts are saying as well. When you really think about it, it becomes almost strange that maritime passive safety devices aren't a global standard yet.